the defense wrapped up their arguments today. The Crown will, will give their argument, will start their arguments tomorrow. The rebuttal, they argue, yes, she should be extradited. Yes, she did commit a crime. Yes, she should be sent back to the United States. This is the first part of a very long process. More dates are set aside in June, where they're going to, where the argument is going to be that Meng Wanzhou's uh, legal rights were violated by the way she went her arrest at the airport here in Vancouver. So this is the start of a very long process. <laughs> Today, actually, uh, largely was a follow-up to what occurred in, in yesterday's, the first day of the hearing. Uh, lawyers for Meng Wanzhou, the, China, the executive for the Chinese company Huawei, continued arguments saying that because Canada does not have sanctions against Iran, she cannot, she could not be convicted of a fraud, or she should not go back to the United States and face a fraud charge because she didn't commit a crime in Canada, so she shouldn't be extradited to the states. Tomorrow the Crown gets the answer. The, the Crown gets the answer after hearing two days of why she should not be sent to states. The Crown is going to argue back that yes, she did commit a crime. Yes, that under Canadian laws she still would have that she still would have committed a violation, and that's why she should be extradited.